Hi everybody, my name is JC. I am here today at the Great Northern Sound and Light to talk to you about another feature that has recently come out with the PreSonus Studio Live Line. Well, if you don't know already, the PreSonus Studio Live Line continues to grow and support existing product that's out in the field. So what you do today with your board, believe me, in the future, it's gonna do a lot more. So we're talking today about the brand new feature called Capture. Now we've had Capture 1 for some time, but now this is Capture 2. So let's take a look at Capture. If you used Capture before, this is what you were used to. It was pretty easy to use. It was a three click or four click, depending on uh, what you count as a click, recording solution. Well now we have Capture 2. Capture 2 can be downloaded from the Personas website on your account that you set up and uh, you register your board, your board serial number, and you're able to get uh, downloads of this. So it's free and it works on uh, the Studio Live products. Um, you know, obviously you're going to first open up your universal control so your board and computer are talking together. And then you go up to the capture preferences or options rather. And go ahead and select, if it doesn't already, pick your Studio Live as your audio interface. Uh, if not, it'll default, I believe, to your computer. You can go ahead and pick out your sampling rate, your uh, device block size, uh, your recording format. It's a 24-bit or all the way up to 32-bit floating if you have enough horsepower and if you're syncing with anything else. So we'll close that menu out. So how do you make a capture session? Well, first you'll go New Session. Hit OK. And there you go. You can then arm all tracks and then hit record. Pretty easy. You will want to make sure that you've armed all the Firewire buttons on your Studio Live as well. But some of the new features here, um, let's go ahead and open an existing session that uh, so we can see some meters bounce on here. And um, here we go. We've got some audio. So we're going to toggle back to the beginning and we're going to hit play. Now you'll notice we have meters down here on the bottom so we can actually see what's going on with our audio. You can come over here and get a real good set of meters to let you know what kind of input you got going. Um, so that's one of the new features. We also, if we go back to a uh, new session, have the ability to use an existing capture session as sound check. This is called sound check mode when you click the microphone there and you pick an existing uh, uh, capture session and this allows you to go ahead and make your monitor mix by playing back through your studio live or set your levels for your main mix or assign things to effects channels if you want or subgroups. So you just hit that and hit OK and it pulls up a session and you're good to go. Uh, you also then have a neat way to here. This is where all your markers are. So if you want to add a marker, move a marker, or delete a marker, uh, it's really easy. Before in Capture, you had to go through the timeline there and, uh, and get that done. So we've got a couple of other easy things here. Uh, your arrow tool, uh, you can zoom in, uh, range tool. You can do some basic copying and some erasing, uh, as well as uh, option commands. But Capture, remains to be uh, one of the easiest recording softwares ever. Up here we see your record duration time, your current position where your uh, time bar is, how much recording time you have left on your hard drive. Uh, this gives you your disk space down here at the bottom and how much free space you have. And it again gives you inventory of what you got going. Well, that's Capture 2. If you have any questions, please give our friends at Northern Sound and Light a call and check out your Personas board there. Have a great day. Bye.